everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a Renaissance Festival haul video, which may sound really weird for a doll channel, but you can see in front of you what I'm talking about. I got some really cool stuff at the Renaissance Festival. Now, I live in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, so that's the Renaissance Festival that I attended. And I actually went yesterday, and I got some cool stuff, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna start on this end and just kind of show you what I got. This is an incense burner, but it's really um, whimsical. It's a little stump house, and you can see that it's totally like in the fantasy genre, and I love it because I like burning incense on my deck. Um, it helps keep mosquitoes away, and it's just nice for ambiance. So I thought this was really cool, and I love the colors, and it was like perfect for me, so I got it. Now the rest of this stuff that you see is all from Oakshire Oddities. And there's a couple of different people that work there um, and do some of the, the artistry. So I'm going to talk about these two small pieces first. And these were created by a lovely lady. Her name is Mira. And she creates these little mushroom houses that are so cute and adorable. And I'm like, I'm really excited about what I'm going to do with this. And this is like a mushroom fairy door. And I thought those things were so, so cute. And so thank you very much to her for creating these because this is just precious. And it's like on a little rock. So it's on a little rock slab. It is so cute. And then it's even got a tiny little door. So you see that? Just the kind of stuff I love. And it makes great props for the dolls, especially the really small dolls. Now, the next things I got are from the artist Barrett Dodds, and he creates trolls and goblins. And one of these, this guy here, this is a troll, and he is actually for my friend Michelle. She had seen one of my creations of his that I got at a previous Renaissance Festival, and she really loved it. And I told her, I'll be glad to pick one up for you. So I got him for her, and then I got... This one is a goblin, so the green guy is a goblin, and then the big tall guy is a troll. And I learned something new this time, and I'm going to show you the guy that I already have. This is the one that I've had for, for, for over a year now, because I got him at the last rent fair, and I have always thought he was a troll. But I found out because I talked to the artist and he told me that the trolls have tails and the goblins don't. So I think this guy's actually a goblin because he does not have a tail. Where this guy has a tail, so that makes him a troll. My green guy has no tail, so that makes him a goblin. And then the big one has a tail, so that makes him a troll. So I'm going to show you kind of how they're put together because I spent some time talking with the artist about about the, the process, and because I always like to talk to artists about that sort of thing. So you can see the two, these two have different types of feet. So this small troll has the um, clay feet, where this guy actually has resin feet. So what he told me is that he started doing some of the feet in resin because it helps them, they stand a little bit better and it's a little bit stronger because there were some, the, um, the ankle gets kind of thin when you're making the clay and trying to put the wire armature in. And so speaking of which, so they have these, they have the clay hands and then these guys have resin feet and then there's a wire armature. So you're able to actually um, pose them. And I love this guy's beard. I love his teeth and his tongue. And it's funny because, um, his wife was there too, the artist that makes these, and I told her, I was like, gosh, this guy's just so cute. She said that she had almost decided to keep him for herself, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. She said, that's okay, he'll make me another one. So, um, but she was saying that she, she often, she'll find, like, he'll make one, and she'll like it so much, she'll end up keeping it, and I thought that was such a cool story, because... I mean, wouldn't it be cool to have a house full of trolls and goblins? But I think he is so cute. So I'm on my way to that, by the way, having a house full of them, you can see. But they make great props for the dolls, and they make really, they're just so, I mean, look how cool he is. He's like cool, and he's just like, he's so neat. And so I want to show you what I got the big guy for, though. So the big guy, 
I got him because he is perfectly scaled for my big SD girls. So check that out. So I am like looking forward to having fun with him, like doing some different kind of things because he is like the perfect, perfect scale for these big girls. And so that's why I wanted one in this size because I have the smaller one like you saw. And then I got one in between, which is the goblin. And then I wanted this really big guy to do this fun stuff. And he also has um, the resin feet. And just excuse the noise, my cats are going absolutely berserk right now. I don't know why, there must be a bug in the house. But anyway, um, <laughs> this is, so he has the resin feet. He's got this nice long tail that he can, that you can kind of pose and move around. And I've been kind of looking at him today because the cool thing about him is there's so many little details. Like every time you look, you notice something different. So if I lift his arm up and you look kind of at some of his accoutrements here, he's got this little, um, like a jar of who knows what there, you know, some magic potion of some sort. He's got this, um, he's got some crystals there, and then he's got a key, and then he's got another key down here, and he's just kind of fun because every time, like I said, you look at him, you see something new, and the artist also told me that this hat is a felted hat that a lady that goes to the, I want to say he said the Arizona Renaissance Festivals, that she makes these, and so that's really cool too that I have, he has this nice felted hat, so... I really think he's great. And you know how I carried him out of the Renaissance Festival? I carried him out like this, like a baby on my hip because he's so big and they didn't have a bag for him and I didn't have a bag to bring him in. So as I'm carrying, out, carrying him out, you know, one of the, the people there said, you can't take that from the petting zoo. <laughs> it's like, it was really funny. But anyway, so he's home now and he's super cute. And he's a big hefty guy and I really like him. And I just, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with him. Um, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with this little goblin buddy too. So those are the things I got. And I just think they're super cool. And what's really, really cool is that they're all hand sculpted. So the, each, each set of hands is hand sculpted. Every face is hand sculpted. So every one has the artist's actual like hand in it, which I think is really unique. And um, you don't always get that anymore, you know, with a lot of these things. So I think it's just... I just love them. Like, I think they're so cool and they're like the perfect compliments to my doll collection. So anyway, I will leave links below to uh, Mira who makes these, her Instagram, and I will leave also a link to the Oakshire Oddities Instagram below. And if you are visiting either the Arizona or the North Carolina Renaissance Festival, stop by and have a, have them um, check out their booth. So. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them for me in a comment below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would give me a subscribe if you like this content. I am trying, I've set a goal for myself to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I'm almost there, I'm 300 away. So I would love it if you would subscribe if you like the content. And thank you very much. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.